Hey everyone, it's Noel Christopher with Renters Warehouse coming at you with another video here. It's been a little while. I haven't been doing a lot of videos. I'm going to start posting a lot of videos. Um, I have these great affirmations that have been happening lately. A lot of the videos that I posted in the past was taking down some articles talking about there being a housing crash. And you still find a few of those out there. But the tide's starting to turn. Interest rates are back low. Uh, you've got a huge demand. You're, a lot of sellers are coming off the fence and starting to sell their houses. Uh, you know, the, the, the inventory, month's supply of inventory is ticking up. Now, while appreciation has been uh, declining a little bit, but it's really been more leveling off. I mean, you see some articles about the appreciation and, and, and maybe misinterpreting some Black Knight and some CoreLogic data. Um, all it means is that some markets where it just shot up really crazy of starting to level off and some, some of these really unaffordable areas are starting to change. And I think, you know, one thing I wanna talk about are millennials that are in the housing market, they're wanting to buy, and baby boomers are actually starting to move off and starting to sell. You know, that's where a lot of the supply is, is with the baby boomers. One of the things that, uh, you know, I've seen, and, and I recently just saw an article from uh, Business Insider, which I typically don't like to quote Business Insider. You really have to read it between the lines with a lot of their articles. They were uh, putting out a lot of the housing crashes here type of articles um, towards the end of the year and the beginning of this year. But this one hit it on the, on the nose, and it was talking about how baby boomers have houses that millennials don't necessarily want. Now, I'll talk about this in a minute. I think there's some other opportunities that could come from this, but it's really interesting. There's two things I've read recently is the baby boomers having houses that are too big and, and not the style that millennials are interested in. And millennials actually moving, um, willing to, to live further outside of the city centers in order to have a more affordable house so they can spend more of their money on health and wellness and less material things and more on the the experiences and, and I, I truly think that's that's actually great you know um, so but the baby boomers so they have these houses that are these large square foot sprawling houses in the suburbs that a lot of the millennials aren't interested in buying now I think some millennials end up in in some of these houses because the uh, the market factors are going to have some of these houses that they're trying to sell at a certain price. Those prices are going to come down. I don't think it's going to be an overall effect on the on the market. But I'd be interested to to see what uh, you all think about that on how the the baby boomer different style of house for the millennials match up. And I'm sure this has happened many generations in the past. Um, but it, but it's something interesting. The interesting part is that, you know, on the surface, you could look at this and say, well, you know, what are these baby boomers going to do with their houses? The values are going to go way down, but there's still a high, high demand for rentals. Um, there's still a really high demand for rentals. So I think this could be an opportunity for investors if they can get the houses at the right prices that actually could rent in the suburbs because there's a demand for people to live in the suburbs and affordable houses. And maybe they're a little bit bigger houses, but I, I think that might be okay. You know, I, I don't know, but it's, it's something that's interesting. The, the other interesting thing I want to talk about is, is, you know, the cost of living in cities are getting so expensive that now you have some of these companies that are popping up that will that, that market to um, almost like co-living spaces where they put together roommates into houses or condos or townhomes or things like that in some of these higher cost markets. And there's some great companies out there. Um, you can look them up. Uh, Bungalow is one of them that is really focusing in that space. And I really think their model is very interesting. So, uh, you know, you should check them out. Um, I think what's happening in this real estate space is there's just a ton of different models that are coming up and the whole space is being disrupted. And so keep an eye on it. I'm going to keep talking about it. Uh, I think what we're doing here at Renner's Warehouse is great. And we're really focusing on building out that investment brokerage and property management company to serve the, you know, 23 million one to five unit um, investment owners around the country. So keep an eye out for what we're doing. I just wanted to post this video, a couple of links here to, sh to show some of the stuff that we have. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.